Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Heartland Farm. Happy Palm Sunday to all of you. Hope you had a great day so far. We had an awesome Easter tractor parade through Kingsbury and down to the Kingsbury Baptist Church and back here to the farm today. And uh, to everybody that participated or watched, thank you very, very much. We raised a nice sum of money for the church to help with their operations, and it's much appreciated. Um, we're going to draw a name for last week's video, as we always do, for a t-shirt and a hat. And I promise you, we're going to have some toy in the real McCoy shirts here one of these days. We just haven't had them done yet. So for people that share our video, we throw your name in the hat each week. And this week's, last week's winner who shared it is Freddie Wolf. So Freddie, we got a hat and a shirt for you. Swing by the dealership. Hopefully you're uh, feeling better. I know you've been under the weather a little bit. So thank you very much for sharing. If you would, if you enjoy the Toy and the Real McCoy show that we do here on Sundays, please share it if you would. Today we're going to explore Alice Chalmers tractors a little bit. The 8000 series to be exact. These were the big tractors from Alice Chalmers that came out in 1982. And that happens to be the year that I went into business at Falls Farm and Garden Equipment as an Alice Chalmers dealer. And they made four models. They made the 8010, the 8030, the 8050 that we don't have a toy of out here today, and the 8070 tractor. So the uh, 8000 series tractors were built from 1982 until 1985 because in 1985, Alice Chalmers sold their agricultural equipment business to Klockner Humboldt Deutz out of Germany, and it became Deutz Alice in 1985. And the uh, West Alice tractor factory outside Milwaukee was shut down late that year, and so the uh, construction of the real Alice Chalmers tractors was stopped at that point. So the 8010 tractor came with a, a venerable 301 cubic inch Alice Chalmers turbocharged inline six cylinder diesel, made 110 PTO horsepower in its Nebraska tractor test. From the 8030, then the 8050 and the 8070 tractors, those had the 426 cubic inch Alice Chalmers turbocharged and intercooled diesel engine in them, made 130, 150, and then 170 PTO horsepower. The 8070 is gonna be our real McCoy here today. But while we're talking about, first of all, these toys, I'm gonna to point out that they're really, really nice toys. They're very, very heavy built. These toys were still when Ertl toys were made in Dyersville, Iowa. So they don't have shifting levers and, and workable three-point hitches and things like that that you find with the toys that are made in China. But what they have is a lot of heft to them. You have the push nuts that hold the front wheels on them so that when a little person wants to push it around and uh, and put their weight on the tractors, they're learning to walk or as they're playing with their tractors, they don't wear the plastic out and have the wheel fall off like you do with the ones that are made in China. So I'm very, very fond of these toys. Uh, we sold a lot of them at the dealership and of course they were labeled as Alice Chalmers from 82 to 84 and then, well, about midway through 1985, they started putting a Deutz Alice label right over the Alice Chalmers label. And we have them in our collection labeled both ways. These happen to be collector edition tractors from 1982. And then this one, the 8070, was a one made to, to uh, help as a fundraiser for the National Farm Toy Museum in Dyersville, Iowa, just across the street from where the toy tractors were made. It's really one of my favorites. If you look, it's got decent detail for a U.S. built toy. It's got a full rack of front uh, weights on it. It's got decals to replicate what Alice Chalmers called stadium lights on the cab. Of course, it doesn't have the three-point hitch, but does have a real good draw bar on it so that you could uh, hook up your drawing implements to it. It's got a th uh, set of three steps on it to get on the tractor. Beautiful toy. Um, they're getting really collectible because, of course, it's been a long, long time since they made them. And as we talk about Alice Chalmers, it's a company that has a real fondness in my mind. They started making tractors in 1914 and, of course, ceased under the Alice Chalmers name in 1985 when Deutz bought them out. But in that time, they really did some pretty magnificent things. They were the first company to put rubber tires on a farm tractor. That was uh, was done as a, in an agreement with Harry Firestone of the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company. And then after that, Years later, they invented the live power takeoff, which allowed you to interrupt the direction of the tractor, the forward motion, 
whether you're running a power takeoff driven implement, a hay baler or a forage harvester or something like that, so that if you got into heavy crop, you didn't wad the uh, crop up in the uh, harvester, you could stop the uh, forward drive of the tractor until the crop uh, processing could get caught up and then continue with the forward motion just without having to shift the tractor back into gear. And that was done through the use of what Alice Chalmers called the power director, which was something they carried right on into the 1970s. The next thing that they did that is quite notable is they are the first company to put a turbocharger on a row crop tractor, and that was accomplished with the Alice Chalmers D19 tractor. And the fourth notable thing that they did, if you come right over here to the real McCoy, this tractor's muddy, and you can blame Dave for that because he's been doing some chisel plowing with it out here in our Kingsbury clay, and uh, clay likes to stick to just about everything. Alice Chalmers invented the power adjust rim. So you loosen these clamps, step on one wheel brake, spin the hub, and it narrows or widens the width of the tractor. You, and then you tighten your bolts up, and you can adjust the width spacing on the rear of the tractor for the crop that you're trying to straddle. It has it on both sides. Obviously, it is a, something that Alice Chalmers invented, and it went on to be sold to uh, many, many companies as people need to adjust the width of the tractor for various crop widths that they have. So our real McCoy, as dirty as she is, is probably the lowest hour known 8070 in existence. She's got just a few over 800 hours on her. Under. How many? Under. Under 800 about hours? About 750. Oh, 750. Very good. I see the oil filter was changed at 711. I thought she was over 800 now. But anyways, this tractor came out of a, uh, a beautiful collection in Menominee, Wisconsin, the Finetti Collection. Tractor's got a very interesting story behind it in that it was on its way out of the West Allis factory, and a driver who was unfamiliar with where he was headed, heading out of the factory, made a wrong turn, and he bridged her. So he destroyed the cab on this tractor, and, and uh, Donald Finetti bought the tractor from the insurance company and went on and found a new old stock cab, or bought a new old stock cab from Alice Chalmers, put the new cab on the tractor, and kept it on his farm up near Menominee, Wisconsin. And uh, we were lucky enough to be able to buy it at an auction of theirs in uh, 2016. It's powered by a 426 cubic inch Alice Chalmers turbocharged and intercooled diesel engine. She's got big rubber on the front. She's got 18.426s on the front. She's got 20.838 rubber on the rear. Full rack of Alice Chalmers suitcase weights to keep the traction down here where it belongs. Beautiful straight tractor. It's got the stadium lights front and rear. Category two, three convertible, three point hitch. 1,000 RPM power takeoff. This has the Alice Chalmers 12-speed power shift transmission, but these tractors were offered also with a 20-speed power director transmission, which was a standard shift. This one, of course, was the one that was most popular. What are you telling me? I'm telling you eight. It's an eight-speed power shift. No, it's not. It's a 12. It's a 12? Yeah. I just don't allow you to go into fast gears because I know how you like speed. You get right up in there. It's a 12-speed transmission. Yeah, right, we're gonna, we're gonna have a, we're right. gonna have a learning curve. Yeah, we'll have a little learning curve later on. It's a 12-speed transmission. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, little girl. Right here on camera. We're well, I'm just saying. You spot. know, there's eight. There's one through eight on there. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, you get up there. And, <laughs> okay. And see, I think there's a high and low one through six. But you, if you correct me, we'll, high and we'll low. Do it. High and low one through eight. High and low one through eight would make it 16-speed. Maybe we'll just get in there and check Let's that. Let's just get in there. I'm trying to tell you something else. Now I've done forgot what I was trying to tell you. This is available with a power shift and with the uh, power director 20-speed transmission on the tractor. It's got a beautiful cab on it. It's nicely appointed. It's no, no, nice. you're, and Jimmy Mack just commented too. No, in my, it's, <laughs> I was driving the 4620. <laughs> no, it's definitely six. What did Jimmy Mack say? He said it ain't no John Deere 8 speed. He's probably going to come out and, right probably gonna come out and bitch slap you, and you've earned it. That's right where I... You have earned oh it. Boy. And while you're washing I did it, why don't you sweep it. that cab up? I've got right so many hours in this thing, too. Beautiful, beautiful original upholstery in the tractor. Just a really, really nice 8000 series tractor. My God, nothing worse than a kid trying to steal a show here. Anyways, folks, that's our 8070 Alice. She's got a nice history. She's a real powerhouse. These tractors were tested in uh, 
Nebraska, and they were advertised as a 170 horse tractor, and it did exceed that in its Nebraska tractor test. There are only 2,354 8070s built, and of the four models in the Alice Chalmers 8000 series, there's only a total of 8,550 of them. And I'm telling you, you see them for sale and you see them in use in farms all over the country. So they certainly were a really dependable, durable workhorse. And uh, I expect that you'll see these tractors around for a long, long time. Mechanical injected 426 diesel, just a lot of good old fashioned durability. I'm always gonna have a warm spot for Alice Chalmers because in my life, they're the goose that laid the golden egg. And in agricultural and industrial equipment history and other history, electrical transfer and generation equipment, flour milling, sawmill equipment, uh, aggregate crushing equipment. Alice Chalmers was a worldwide leader, but like a lot of companies, they got a little headstrong with their upper management. They thought they were too good to fail. And the next thing you know, there is no more Alice Chalmers. And it's too bad because they left a tremendous legacy of uh, tremendous manufacturing. They built top quality products and uh, the name will be held alive by a lot of us for a lot of years to come. I hope you have a great week. This is the beginning of Holy Week. We want to make sure that you keep Christ centered in your heart. Say your prayers. Keep the faith. These are tough times that we're going through. Everything costs more that you have to buy. But the one thing you can grab a boatload of for free is faith. So keep it in your heart. And let's see you next Sunday with a truck instead of a tractor. Happy Easter week.